All right, you guys, you wanna check out how to create this dark chrome text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so step one, I'm gonna go with this artboard size as a reference. And for the font, I went with the Amadar Regular. This is a free Adobe font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And by the way, the first tall condensed font that you saw before is basically the same exact font, but in Illustrator, I did manipulate it a little bit and stretched it out. So in this video, I'm just gonna go with the original font. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is make the text black. So you can go here to the color, click on it and make it black. Click OK. And let's go ahead and double click on the text layer to open up the layer styles. And first we're gonna go to the bevel and emboss, select it. And pretty much I'm gonna go with these options, inner bevel smooth, depth on 400, size 21, 20. I'm just gonna decrease it to 20. Softness on one. Shading is gonna be on default 90, 30. And the global contour, I'm gonna select this and then highlight and shadow mode, it's on 100, blend mode, it's on normal for both of them. Next, we're gonna to need to do is go here to the contour, check it, and here, I'm gonna change this to this guy right here. I'm also gonna activate the background now, click OK, so I can activate the background, and I'm gonna go back to the bevel. Now, also the contour, make sure to check the anti-aliasing, and then we're gonna go here to the inner shadow, activate, and here I'm gonna go with the blend mode on normal, color white, click OK, opacity on 100, angle 90, distance 15, choker zero, size eight, and the contour again, this guy right here. I'm also gonna activate the stroke. Also make sure to add a little bit of stroke in this situation for this size, I'm gonna go with one pixel. The position is gonna be outside. Great. And about least to make it a little bit more exciting, I'm also gonna activate the gradient overlay. And for the gradient colors, I'm gonna go with like black and white. Black is gonna be on the left, white is gonna be on the right, click OK. And the angle is gonna be minus 90. You also can modify the opacity, maybe decrease it, if you will. I'm gonna decrease it to 60. Click OK. And now we're gonna duplicate this. Press Control J to duplicate. And I'm gonna convert this into a smart object. Convert a smart object. And here we're gonna go to the filter. Let's go to blur, select Gaussian blur. And for the radius, add 20 pixels, click OK. And here we're gonna change up the blend mode and select the lighten. This is gonna add some glow. You also can press Ctrl J to duplicate. And let's select the bottom one, double click on the Gaussian blur. And this one you can increase it to 40, click OK. And then maybe decrease the opacity. And pretty much that's how you make it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.